trying to calculate some things right now. Yeah, I got sidetracked it. I got sidetracked from what I was going to actually do. No, I'm trying to calculate the cost of the stuff I had gotten manufactured. So I'm trying to figure out how much it would cost because that's gonna matter for the shop update. Hello and welcome back to another studio vlog. If you don't know who I am, my name is Mei Yang. I'm a digital kawaii illustrator who currently resides in Canada. Right now, I should be rendering my notepad artwork. One of my Discord group orders are running group orders again and there are items that they are going to be doing that I'm super interested in. So I had to stop what I was doing because the deadline for that is in two weeks so i have to make sure i know what i'm wanting to do thankfully i already have the artwork i need for those there's only one item i actually have to make a design for after my notepad i have to go do that and the patreon stuff and then shop update and then i have to prepare for an adoption so there's a lot of stuff that i need to get to doing <laughs> not gonna freak out it's okay we still have time for all of this yesterday i spent the day getting all the flat colors down for the notepad that i was supposed to do last week so now i am going to start rendering it and i'll show you guys how it looks like but before that i'd like to share with you guys a fun package that i just received i received this with a little box yesterday and it was full of these beautiful wing key clasps and i ordered these a while back it's a lighter gold than what I'm used to, but it's still really beautiful. It opens from the top, like this. And there's 50 of them in total. I'm gonna have to double check them real quick to make sure they're okay, so I can put them away. And I also had these acrylic keychains out, because I'm planning to turn these designs to a new product. You guys haven't seen this one, but this is a moon cat. So it's the cat that's actually the moon and here's this little paws and there's some claws and stuff around him. This design and this Captain Frogo design which is the memo pad are going to be turned into two inch acrylic keychains and that's about this size right here. So this is a two inch charm, this is two and a half, this is three inches. I kind of thought that they were too little but my husband says he thinks they're perfect so i think i'll just go ahead and get them like this i'm gonna get 15 of each i just wanted to do 30 of the captain froggles but it's always the ones that you don't know if they sell well that always do better so decided to go ahead and split them that way if later on in the future one or the other does better then i can go ahead and order it again i also used this design here on a different type of product and I will show you guys that product once that gets here. There might be a few more months before I get it, but yeah, look forward to that. You might have saw a sneak peek of it when I made a post about how I figure out what to draw. And there was a silhouette of this design here. I was thinking of getting this as an acrylic keychain too, which is the Captain Froggo that got sticker design. But this is actually going to be a design for a different type of item. And this one as well, because this one originally has a background. They're going to be acrylic coasters. I'm super, super excited. They're going to be four inch acrylic coasters. Here's a look at the notepad design that I was working on yesterday. I drew the lotus flowers that was suggested to me through Patreon. Water lines, of course. Lily pads and Captain Froggo and his snow friend here at the bottom. As you can see here, last week I was talking about Captain Frogo actually having like a hat or an accessory for like every occasion. But for this one, I don't think he's going to have one because I don't really know what to put on as an accessory. And if I figure something out, I might change it. But for now, he's not going to have one because this is a nighttime theme. So I'm not exactly sure to put on this little guy's head. I was a little worried about the lotus flowers, but nothing a good old Google search didn't fix for references. 
think it looks really nice. Once I'm done with it, I'll probably have to mess with it, change the opacity or maybe the colors a bit so you can actually write on top of this because it might be too dark once I'm done with it. But we're gonna put these angel key clasps away, clean up this desk, and then we'll start rendering this artwork. Today is Wednesday, January 25th, and I have been testing opacity and messing around with the artwork to make sure that I can write on it with a pen. And here there's no changes to the artwork. Here I put a white overlay on top of the entire thing. Here I made it a higher percentage, the white, so you can see the pen a lot better here compared to here. So I decided to stick with this. My husband suggested that I should keep the artwork down here with no white overlay. So as you can see here, Dr. Froggle and Snow Cone are the same colors as the whole notepad. But here you can see them a lot better. This one I tried something fancy with it and didn't like it. And finally we arrived here at Disney World <laughs> and this is the design I'm going with. And I already just cut one out to test it, so let me show you. This is how it looks like. And I think it's super, super cute. My husband did 
a great call I think with keeping the bottom here the color it actually is and just making the other parts lighter it's a fun size it's four by six speaking of the artwork in four by six I ended up ordering prints four by six prints of the original artwork with nothing done to it except it being finished as i was finishing it i thought it would be a beautiful art print so that's what i decided to do and i can't wait to get it i also got this captain frogo and mushroom Khan artwork reprinted as well it's printed on five by seven so when i get it i have to cut it since it's a five by five art print this is the last time i will be restocking this print there's 50 of them of each so it take a while anyway and maybe when it runs out I might redraw this in the future so better look at the artwork for my iPad I love how the water turned out I love the colors I love the greens on the lily pad basically I'm just really happy with the overall print like I said Captain Frogo doesn't have a hat I tried to draw his fishing hat that he had on for the memo pad I wanted to put it in his hand here I was drawing it, it looked weird, so I just took it all. It's like, it's okay. Captain Frogo will be okay without an accessory this time. So this would be the second print of him where he doesn't have an accessory. <laughs> the suggestions for adding the lotus flowers was a really great idea. I wasn't going to add them because, again, I'm not the greatest with drawing flowers, but... Yeah, thank you so much, Lynn, for the suggestion over on Patreon. I really, really appreciate it. everyone I thought I would just drop in and do a little voiceover for this section on this day I decided to do my patreon podcast and right after I was done doing all my research I was going to start recording it but then this is also the day that we had a snowstorm unfortunately so my husband and I had to go out and go shovel our parking spot after we did that I was going to take like a 30 minute break catch my breath from doing all the shoveling and then try to make the podcast happen but then first time I recorded I was so out of breath so I had to stop and I didn't get a chance to record till later that evening so I was a little upset over it because that was something I really really wanted to do I didn't promise to have it out that day but 
The next day I was going out with my mother-in-law and I knew afterwards I would not want to do anything. So I really, really wanted to get that out. I was grumpy for a little bit and after that, I was like, you know what? I just needed to stop being grumpy and just go and work on other things on my list. I decided to go ahead and print out the stickers for the winners for the Draw This In Your Style Challenge. I also decided that I am going to turn the artwork from the Captain Froggle Memo Pad into a sticker as well. So I will actually have two die cut sticker designs for the Captain Froggle set of goodies. I really love that artwork and I feel like it could be more than just the memo pad design. Hello patrons, today I will talk about Etsy, I'll talk about some pros and cons about it, and I'll talk about my own personal experience, so what I say might be different for you. Hello, today is Friday, January 27th. Today, I'm going out with my mother-in-law and we're going to go to Old Quebec. And that's a very touristy area here in Quebec City. It has a whole lot of history, a bunch of beautiful buildings. And my mother-in-law wanted to go out to go check out the boutiques and just hang out. So I'll take you guys along with me. I am currently using my phone and it's not going to be the most beautiful quality because I'm not going to take my camera with me. So I'll take you guys along with me so you guys can see how beautiful it is here. <laughs> 